joined now by uh, former UPEI Women's Panthers goalie. Uh, she's one of the, when we've seen here in Charlottetown, a fair amount of good goalies. She's one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, she's had chances with uh, Lays Canadian in the former Canadian Women's Hockey League. She now suits up for Team Bauer in the PWHPA's Secret Dream Gap Tour. This is Marie Soleil Deschen. I'm gonna call her Sunshine because that's how I've known Sunshine for my uh, entire time knowing her. So. Uh, Sunshine, it's uh, great to chat with you again. Thank you for having me. <laughs> right on. So let's let's start with you, PEI. Talk about your experience with the Panthers and talk about the kind of stuff you guys did as a, as a group together. It was great. I loved it in PEI. The group of girls that I play with are amazing. And I still talk to them because they're pretty much part of my family now. So. I, I had such a good time playing at UPEI. You went up from UPEI and uh, you were drafted to the CWHL. For those who weren't familiar, uh, it was Canadian Women's Hockey League. Uh, I believe it was six or seven teams, if I remember correctly. The teams in Boston, Toronto, Markham, Calgary. You guys had a team in China at one point, I think that was a thing yeah. that happened. Talk about your experience playing with Lake Canadian because you suited up with uh, some really, really big names in the sport. Names like Hillary Knight, Mathieu Poulain, like crazy, crazy stuff you were doing once you left UPEI. Since I play with the Canadian, uh, I've had opportunity to play and practice with more, the most, the best players in the world. So that was a really great experience. And I had a few games with them. Um, I had traveled a lot of places to play hockey and I've seen really great hockey. So. It's been really nice. You not not only had the opportunity to play with uh, some great women's players, you had the opportunity to actually step on the ice at the Bell Centre. Talk about that experience where you had the chance to play with the Montreal Canadiens. I was invited for the skills competition. The manager of my team just messaged me one day. She's like, do you want to go for a skills competition? I was like, eh, yes, <laughs> for Montreal. So that was really great. It was a great experience. It was kind of a dream come true to play on the in the Bell Center with the Les Canadiens, so it was really awesome. If you talk about the good, you got to talk about the bad a little bit, and the CWHL folded, but what came out of that was a really big opportunity for women's hockey. Uh, so talk, I guess, first about what the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association is. So the PWHPA is a player association. It's mostly run by the players that are in it. We're about like uh, 200. Our goal is to promote women's hockey and to create uh, a professional league so the young girls can dream about uh, playing pro and you know make a living out of it one day. I love that you use the word dream because that leads right into my next question is to talk about one of the big initiatives that you guys are putting on and that's the secret dream gap tour. Let's talk about the dream gap tour and what and what that is and what you guys are doing uh, in Montreal. So the tour is like a showcases that we're doing to exactly promote uh, our movement. So it's like a tournament and uh, usually people are watching it from the stands, but because of COVID, well, it's on TV, so that's pretty good. We want to give information to people that were working on a professional league. The tour is basically to promote uh, the movement for women's hockey. On that note, you know, talking about the movement of women's hockey, because it really is an amazing thing. You mentioned being on TV. You guys had the opportunity to be on Sports at the NHL Network this past weekend. It was really, really, really cool to see. So from your standpoint, why is it so important for you to see professional women's hockey succeed and take that next step? When I was younger, I wanted to play professional hockey, but the, there was only the NHL, which is for the guys. So for the PWHPA, we want to like reduce the gap between boys hockey and girls hockey so the girls can dream about a professional league and to actually make a living out of it. So that's really important for me because we want to grow the game for women's hockey. For fans who are just learning about the PWHPA now, uh, where can they find a little more information on it? Uh, we have a website, uh, I think it's pwhpa.com. There's all the information about the goal of the, the showcase. Uh, we have a five teams and every player on it is uh, to have a description and the news, the partners that we have, the sponsorships that we have. All right, now I know one thing that is on the website is the shop and uh, I can guarantee you that I'm going to be looking for that Marisa Landeshen shirt. See, I saw it on there. I think I absolutely am gonna buy one. Uh, Sunshine, 
thanks so much for taking a few minutes and uh, chatting and uh, good luck with everything. And I can't wait to see you on, uh, on the ice. Thank you very much. It's the Dream Gap Tour again, powered by Secret, put on by the PWHPA. I'm here with Marie Soleil, Sunshine, Deschen, goaltender for Team Bauer, Montreal's PWHPA team.